Hi, welcome to the show today. My name is Anisha Pindore and I'm a senior program manager in the Azure DevOps community team. And in the studio, um, I'm joined with Lauren. Lauren, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. I'm Lauren Bros. <laughs> I'm one of the program managers in Azure Boards and, you know, excited to be here. Great. And you've been in the studio a couple of sprints ago as well, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> a few. But, so I'm excited to be back. Yeah, now. it's definitely great to have you in again. Um, so in this sprint video, we're going to be covering just some of the features released in Sprint 154. Uh, sprint 154 is rolled out to all orgs, so you can start getting your hands on some of the features we talk about today, as well as the rest of them as well. So um, just let us know what you think about them. Um, so let's just get stuck in, really. Um, so the first feature that I'm excited to uh, show you folks is that you can now add a GitHub release as a um, artifact source. So um, this will let you consume a GitHub release as part of your deployments. So let me show you what that looks like right now. So I'm in my release page here. And if I go ahead and edit this pipeline, um, this will bring up the editor. And I'll go ahead and add a new artifact. And you'll notice that within the source type, you can now add a GitHub release. If I go ahead and select that, you'll be um, given a couple of things that you'll need to um, add and define before you can get this connected. First is, is that you'll need to um, choose the service connection, which I've already added as part of my admin pages, and then also select the uh, repo that you want to link to. So I'll go ahead and choose this repo. <clears throat> and then you'll be given a choice of whether um, what what version, what is the default version that you want to um, deploy? So whether that's the latest release, a specific tag version, or if you want to select at release creation time as well. Um, so once you go ahead and add that and um, have that linked, you'll be able to, um, so once it's added and linked, it will automatically download it for you. And then it's made available for you in your um, as part of your release jobs. Um, another exciting feature, is that you can now create and embed work items directly from the wiki. Um, the wiki team has been making several improvements over several sprints. Um, and so this is definitely um, a great addition to have as part of those improvements. So let me show you what that looks like right now. So if I go over to um, my wiki page here, you'll notice I've got a set of bullet points here. And let's say I want to create this as a work item. Um, once I've selected it, um, you'll get this option here um, to give you the option to um, create a new work item from this. So I'll go ahead and select task and it will open the standard work item form that everyone is familiar with. I'll go ahead and select Lauren as um, the person I want to assign this task to. Go ahead and save and close that and you'll notice that it will refresh and it will actually embed this into the wiki straight away and um, it also adds the state in there too which is pretty cool as well yeah um so definitely you know try this out check it out let us know what you think about it as well um so there's quite a lot of features um coming out and, and, and improvements in your boards as well right yeah for sure um one of the themes you might have heard you know from previous sprints is we're investing in minor improvements to yeah. kind of help those like paper cuts that you're experiencing. Yeah. Um, and so one of those things is, hey, you just created this work item, you navigate somewhere else, and then you're like, oh, I really want to remember like what that task was that yeah. Anisha created for me. <laughs> um, and so we've added to the search bar uh, inline access to your recent oh, work great. items. And on top of that, we're doing instant results for search. So if I want to find a bug, um, that I'm tracking. Now I can just start typing the syntax. Nice. It's automatically searching. And then if, you know, work item wasn't what I was looking for, I can then jump straight into the full page search for, you know, code or wiki pages. Great, great. And so this this makes things so much more easier to find things without having to remember things like the IDs and things like that. Yeah, right? exactly. That's the goal. <laughs> Make it easier to just find things. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then once you open those work items, um, you know, you have to manually save changes. Mm -hmm. And then if, you know, Anisha makes a change to this bug, I might not know about it unless I know to press the refresh button. Um, well, not anymore. We're excited to introduce live updates to the work item. Nice. Um, and so to show that off, I'm going to go ahead and open this bug in another tab. Uh, and I'm going to go to this page to show you, hey, this is the same bug. I'm not you know, <laughs> doing any black magic behind the scenes. And hey, this bug is actually really important. So I want to like throw in immediately. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, into here, maybe I spelled it wrong, I don't know. But I'll go ahead and press save. And then over here, you'll see, oh, the title wow. updated automatically. So Anisha knows if she's looking at this bug and I make the change, yeah. you know, it's going to be accurate and exactly what's there. That's pretty amazing. That's that's really, really cool. I love that it's, you know, that it just happens straight away and there's no delay or anything like that, right? Yeah. So. 
That's great. Cool. And have you got more stuff to show us? Yeah, <laughs> right. There's more. Uh, one of the other things that we know is really challenging is as you're going through your product backlog and prioritizing, uh, you need a bunch of different contexts to make those yeah. decisions. And one of the important ones is, hey, what's the parent? What does this accrue to? Yes. And make sure those things have higher priority. Yeah. Um, but when you have the you know show hierarchy on the backlog, you can't reorder. Um, so we're proud to introduce parent as a column on your backlog. Great. Um, so you can find that in column options. And once it's there, you've got the parent work item and you can go ahead and make priority decisions oh, wow. based on what those are and reorder. Wow. So, you know, just having this available and just visible makes things so much more easier to plan things, right? You don't, you're not constantly switching, you know, context and windows and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, exactly. Our goal is to make it easier for yeah. you to do what you want and <laughs> nice. hopefully you enjoyed it. Yeah, no, this is perfect. Great. De folks, definitely check it out. Let let us know what you think about some of these features. Uh, let Lauren know as well. Yeah. I'm sure she'd be interested in, in knowing more about it and getting your feedback as well. So that's all we have time for for this sprint video. So I definitely recommend checking out the rest of the features that we haven't um, had a chance to show you folks today. Uh, you can check it out just by visiting the release notes uh, link that is in the video um, as well as below. Um, so thanks again, Lauren, for being in the studio. It's always a pleasure to have you here. Yeah, thanks, Anisha. <laughs> thanks for inviting me. Yeah, and thanks everyone for watching and we'll check you out in the next sprint video. Take care. Bye. Bye.